Now, community leaders want the city to close the place for failing to get permits required years ago. They've used the same tactics to close another Dallas motel. All the communities in South Dallas and Oak Cliff and Pleasant Grove deserve to be able to have their kids go to school and not see drug dealing, not see prostitution. They launched a drive to close a motel across from Townview High School that they say is known for drugs and prostitution. They've used the same tactics to close another Dallas nuisance motel. NBC5's Ken Kaltoff is live with a crime crackdown. Ken? Jay, neighbors call these places hot sheet motels because they say the guests seem to come and go so fast the sheets could never cool. The owner of the classic motel says his place is nothing like that, but it's been the source of neighbor complaints for years and years. June 2002, NBC5 was at the classic motel when police launched a sting after neighbor complaints. Alleged prostitutes hanging around were arrested and then replaced with undercover officers posing as hookers. Today, the owner told us there's no such problem here. Yeah. What they say is that there's a lot of drugs and prostitution. No, no, that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. But neighbors say it's still the same as we saw before. Customers lined up. The decoy hookers led them up to rooms where they got arrested by the truckload. It would concern any neighborhood, but Townview Magnet School is right across the street from the classic motel. You, you don't see a bunch of overnight continental breakfasts this morning, do you? They were here for the business and they left. You cannot have one of the best schools in America and have this across the street. These community leaders filed papers with the city to close the motel for failing to meet the city's license requirements. Some of them passed years ago. They could have done the same thing and should have done it a long time ago. The owner told us the motel was here before the high school and he can't control what happens outside his property. Yeah, but sometimes the people do anything we don't know. You know we don't we don't know the outside of outside of property. Mm. But we take care of the inside. They should be able to clean it up, but they don't. They let this hip kind of stuff go on all the time, day in and out. City officials say that the sting we saw proves that they have not ignored the problem. But the community leaders say their approach has already closed another hot sheet motel, and they expect to do the same here. Reporting live, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5, Dallas.